Beautiful Souls. Elina is here, your holistic therapist, art therapist, crystal healer and hypnotherapist. And I'm here today to do my usual weekend energy healings and readings. So today we are going not only to read the energy for the weekend, but also to heal it. I'm going to share with you the exercises, very special techniques in the end of this video to protect yourself, to heal yourself from different ailments, to remove the negative energies and elements from your body, mind and soul. And as usual, you, I'm going to use my cards with chakras. We're going to find out what chakra and what part of the body and life require very special attention and we will work with this. Also, I'm uh, going to use my crystal pendulum. Yes, to find out if the chakra is blocked or deprived of energy or maybe it's overactivated and overloaded with the energy. So, you know that my energy uh, readings and healings, they are not fortune telling. They are about health, wellness and good mood then balance in your life all right what do we need to know about our health wellness and about our energy this weekend i'm doing the readings for today tomorrow and the day after tomorrow this weekend so i'm going to shuffle my cards i decided to do my readings today outside on my veranda because it's very nice it's very sunny here in sydney and it's quite warm what do we need to know about energy healings, about energy and about our health this weekend? Hmm. What do we need to know? Oh, the energy is really intense this weekend. Oh, can you imagine we've got base of throat and main lymphatic gates. We need to look after these um, chakras again this weekend. And I feel that I need to get another card. Let me see. Okay. Just to support. Here we go. And crown chakra. Okay two energy centers that we need to look after our crown chakra and our base of throat and lymphatic gate chakras you know that uh, our body contains lots of chakras and each each part of our body has got its own chakra so first and foremost we're going to talk about base of throat and lymphatic gates and it's very important because base of throat it's here just on top of collarbones and um, the lymphatic gates are located right here on top of collarbones and um, this is the bridge between your lower body and your head between your heart and between your brain and um, this part is this chakra is actually responsible for your emotions for your for your uh, lymph for uh, the cleanliness of thoughts it's responsible for the health of a physical throat of thyroid uh, partially it's responsible for the uh, for, for your lungs for the health of your lungs and for the clarity of thinking it's responsible for um, on physical level it's responsible for the um, youthful looks especially in women and um, it's responsible for the for, for how freely you are communicating with others it's these chakras are very 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 important and they're responsible for all these things and uh, then we have the crown chakra the crown chakra you know it's located right there on top of your head and of course it is responsible for the connection with the uh, universe with cosmos with the universal energy and it's a pillar 
which is going through our body from top to the tips of our toes and which is holding all together the chakras that are located everywhere located along our spine along our body and um, this chakra is of um, silver color white silver color and um, the base of throat and lymphatic uh, lymphatic gates they are of blue and greenish colors bluish greenish so these colors will be very good for us this weekend um, so again coming back to crown chakra crown chakra is responsible for clarity of thinking again it's responsible for your inner wisdom uh, for your uh, for, for your ability to comprehend and to embrace the information and the knowledge and of course it's responsible for your energy the energy of your body and um, for the uh, not only for the communication skills but also for the uh, for how you are connected with others for how you're communicating with others or for the relationships for the uh, for your wisdom, for your um, for your energy, for your health on all levels. And these chakras are responsible for our health on all levels. And you know that we are very complicated human beings. We are consisted of five levels. We have physical, emotional, mental, um, uh, energetic and spiritual. So, and these chakras are responsible for our health on all those levels. Uh, let me find out what's happening right now in this chakra so I'm going to use my pendulum and uh, first I'm doing the base of throat and uh, main lymphatic gates chakra okay what's happening inside the good news is that this chakra is cleansing itself so basically it's exhaling the process energy uh, and that's very very good because we don't need the processed energy in our body but I'm not seeing that it's breathing in the energy so inhalation process is not really happening so it's not good it's a little bit so it means that our base of throat chakra and our lymph lymphatic gates they are deprived of fresh vital energy and um, the good news is that this chakra is re removing the processed energy so we are not having the um, processed dirty energy in our body it's good but uh, since it's not inhaling the fresh vital energy it means that we might feel a little bit weak maybe um, the we if we are working on something if you're working on something you might feel that um, you don't have enough of fresh ideas of fresh energy so you you might feel a little bit lazy maybe a little bit weak I'm not saying stressed or depressed because it's not about these things this week it's about la being lazy and being um, really um, lightheaded maybe maybe lightheaded so it's easy to fix just stay with me till the end and I'm going to show you the exercises the techniques very simple ones to remove the stagnant energy and to open up the chakra and to bring in fresh energy into your body okay um, so crown chakra I'm going to use my pendulum for crown chakra what's happening with crown chakra what's inside and how's the energy flowing okay the crown chakra is inhaling actively quite actively um yeah it's inhaling fresh vital energy it means that it supplies the energy to your entire body to your brain to all chakras but the exhalation process is a little bit weak so 
what it means. It means that the chakra is rotating clockwise and anti-clockwise. Clockwise, it's inhaling the fresh vital energy and it's quite okay, it's good. But um, on the inhalation process, when it's rotating um, anti-clockwise, it's not exhaling all of the processed energy and it might result in um, in headaches and maybe in um, he, uh, foggy mind uh, being foggy minded and um, it might also result in again in being lazy and not too active because you know when we are overloaded with the um, unwanted processed energies we might feel a little bit heavy and it's because the energy itself has got the weight so um, what we need to do let's start with the base of throat and lymphatic gates chakra and um, I'm going to show you the exercises which are going to remove the processed energy and uh, start the lymph in your uh, in your body and which is going to bring a lot of fresh energy to your throat and to your lymph okay so first of all I have shared the exercises already last week for the base of throat and for the lymphatic gates so I'm not going to show them again if you want you can go back to last week's video and um, have a look uh, it's called keep your throat and lymphatic gates um, healthy so you can have a look there and um, watch the video for uh, to find out the uh, simple exercises now I'm going to show another exercise so to open the chakras to open the lymphatic gates we need to do simple movements turn your head to the right and hold and stretch this part of your throat so stretch this and count one two three and then slowly come back to the normal position and then turn your head to the left and again stretch this part of your throat and count one two three you can keep your hands here on your collarbone just to make sure that you are not turning your body and to help stretching so one two three and then come back to the normal position and repeat this exercise eight times okay so both ways it was one again it's two one two three join me and let's do it together and then another way one two and stretch and come back and then again it's three one two three and come back and again one two three and then four one two stretch stretch three we are opening lymphatic gates now and then one two three and five one two three good and one two three two more oh three more six one two three come back and then one two three and now seven one two three it's easy isn't it and one two three and last time but not least one two three really stretch your muscles there and one two three wow if you feel hot i feel hot i need to remove my jacket really <laughs> so if you feel hot it's good because um the blood and lymph and energy are improved and um, the gates are open so you feel hot and the circula circulation is really good and then 
uh, we need to improve the energy and um, limb circulation here in the secondary throat chakra which is responsible for thyroid right so remember how we stretch the sides of our throat now we need to stretch this part okay so what we do just lift your head and move your chin like that forward okay so when you, um, I'm trying to show you lift your head and stretch this part one two three and release did you get the idea so we do eight times again right so lift your head and then move forward your chin one two three we are opening the chakras and lymphatic gates here in our throat and improving the health physical health of your throat of um, thyroid of your lymphatic gates and we are rejuvenating and bringing up the energy to the upper part of your body to your face and to your head okay that was two right let's do the third time one two three come back and again four one two three you really need really need to stretch the muscles here and five one two three it's not easy to speak when you do the stretching and six one two three stretch and slowly come back and seven one two three come back and eight one two three good do you feel hot i do i do and i feel blood rushing here in my face and uh yeah it's good the energy is really good now it will help you to wake up and to rejuvenate your face in the morning so if you do these exercises in the morning say for example when you wake up and do this in your bed eight times remember um, that's that will be very good and um, it will improve the uh, physical health of your throat it will improve um, your physical health of your dents and gums and um, uh, also it will rejuvenate your face and bring lots of energy fresh energy uh, into your body it will help your chakra rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise which means it will inhale fresh vital energy freely and exhale clean the uh, body and the uh, energy exhale the processed energy good well with crown chakra it's another exercise okay what we need to do for the crown chakra it will be very good this weekend to meditate if you prefer guided meditation do this if you want active healing meditation please you can do this meditation and um, for you it will be very good to get outside this weekend to bring more fresh energy to your crown to stand to reconnect with the universe so when you are doing your meditations and exercises in your house for example it's good but it's not enough so this weekend you need to get out and you need to reconnect with the universe outside and um, if you don't have a chance to get outside at least do this exercise at home i'm going to share the exercise with you use your the palm of your hand and place it onto your crown just on top of your head and move your skin to the right and to the left see how i'm doing that so do it 11 times one two three you really need to move your skin four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven okay now you need to change your hand and do the same movement with another hand 
it place it place the palm of your hand onto your crown and move your skin from side to side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven whoa good very good so after this you can do you can tap yourself slightly don't hurt yourself just to bring more blood here okay when you move your skin to the side from side to side it will open your chakra it will help your chakra to breathe in and breathe out the energy and also it will bring it will activate the uh, blood circulation in your head so it will also help you with um, the memory with the concentration and with the ability to memorize and remember things and uh, to get the ideas quickly and to refresh your energy and support all other chakras and also very important thing the last but not least it will help you with the hair with if you if you have a hair loss if you suffer from it it will stop with time of course it will help you to regrow your hair as well so at least to stop the hair loss if you do this exercise every day of course um, and it will improve your vision and hearing again well the things lots of things in one simple movement and um, you know that my exercises are extremely simple even a three-year-old child can do them but they are extremely effective so you will see the improvements you will feel the improvements straight away and um, if you are uh, if you are combining these exercises with um, the meditations it will be absolutely fantastic right how many times to do these exercises well as many times as you like just remember that the stretching exercises have to be done eight times all these exercises eight times and 11 times we need to massage our uh, crown chakra and um, don't forget to tap yourself here 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 to massage to do the slight massage and meditate so if you start this in the morning if you start the exercises in the morning that will be good you can re repeat them every hour or each time when you feel that you are a little bit tired or maybe exhausted or maybe um, feeling a little bit lazy and kind of deprived of energy or maybe you are losing the concentration or if you have a headache or the, the um, Throat, uh, the ache in your throat maybe sore throat well these exercises will be very 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 good and very effective they will remove the toxins from your blood and they will remove the toxins from your body as well so these exercises are working on all five levels on physical mental emotional energetic and spiritual so if you have any doubts for example on spiritual level they will be all removed only on one condition if you do these exercises every day so this weekend is about crown chakra and about base uh, the base of throat and lymphatic gate chakra so we need to look after our lymph if um, what to eat well what what to eat and what not to eat first of all drink lots of water because throat and lymph and our chakra uh, crown chakra they require lots of water lots of liquids pure water will be absolutely fantastic and uh, if you drink herbal teas great wonderful white tea will be very good for us and um, if I prefer to drink natural teas you know uh, the ones from herbal from herbs where you can actually brew them take them and brew them not the um, tea from the bag but the real natural teas they will be very good lavender will be very good and um, um, rose you know rose petals uh, are very cleansing and healing for us this weekend and um, if you want to use essential oils again lemon lavender and um, 
wild orange will be very good i know they are of orange and yellow colors but they are very supportive uh, for our um, upper chakras they they cleanse and they improve our health physical health and they also improve our ability to concentrate and to reconnect with our inner world with our inner wisdom so you can inhale them you can use them as aromatherapy you can massage your throat chakra the base of throat chakra and lymphatic gates with your um, uh, with these essential oils if you need to know more about essential oils please email me info at antistressclinic.com.au i i can share my knowledge i will be very happy to share my, my knowledge with you and uh, be quite active this weekend it's um it's very important because we when you don't use your muscles you lose them use them or lose them right you need to use your energy as well and it will strengthen it will it will improve it will cleanse and you will feel better you will feel fantastic you will feel light and that's the idea that's the idea of being happy and healthy right um, you can eat blueberries this weekend blueberries will be very good for us and um, all greens all greens are very cleansing and supporting and um, healing as well and what else wear green <laughs> wear green wear blue wear white and get outside don't stay at home get outside okay now you know what needs to be done to cleanse and to energize our chakras and to stay happy and healthy this weekend if you have any questions or if you want to book a personal energy healing and reading session with me you can email me info at antistressclinic.com.au and the address is there next to the video you can also PM me and we will find a suitable time for you and I will go through all chakras in your body and I will tell you how they work how healthy they are and I will create special exercises for you to cleanse all your body all your chakras and to energize them okay next time when I'm going live is Monday Monday um, around uh, between one and two and I will do the energy reading and healing for the entire week I wish you all the best thank you very much for sticking with me protect yourself with a smile stay in the present moment and um, breathe with your stomach drink lots of water do my exercises ask me questions if you have any and please share your results with me i'm very happy to see your progress and to support you on your way to health and happiness have a lovely weekend and see you on monday bye mm -hmm.